Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. Please submit any request to Tinkernut.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a free program that you can use to give your videos a more professional touch. And you can do things with it, like add green screen effects to your videos, or special effects, or overlays, or text effects. So to get started, just do a Google search for Wax 2.0 to get to their web page and then you can download it from their web page. But this isn't going to be an extensive tutorial on how to use the program because that would take forever. So I'm just going to do a basic example and it's going to be a continuation of the last video I did which showed you how to use the program Cam Studio to create a screencast. And this example is going to show you how you can create, how you can add zooming in and zooming out effects using Wax and Cam Studio. So once you've finished installing it, just launch the program. And to add a media file, go up to where it says Media Bins and right click on the folder and select Add Media Files. And then just select the video or audio file that you want to import and I'm going to import the screen capture that I did using Cam Studio and I'm going to drag that to the timeline and then the next thing you want to do is select video plugins and I'm going to drag the transform 3D plugin to the timeline right below the video and then I'm also going to select quick 3D and drag that on top of the video and it'll drop it right below it so the first thing that you want to do for the zoom options is you want to hit play and play the video until you get to where you want the zoom to start. And it'll show the line on the timeline. And then the next thing you want to do is right click on each one of these little stopwatches and select linear. And you can see that adds little dots onto the timeline. You want to drag these little dots out to where where it is you stop the video which is represented by this this line you want to make sure that they're all even and then what you want to do is you want to hit play again until you get to where you want the zoom to stop and what you, and what you want to do after that is just adjust these options of position X, position Y, scale X, and scale Y until you get it zoomed in to where you want it to be. And then if you go back and hit play, it's going to show the zoom effect. And so you can do this for as many times as you want. And then just go up to project and settings and select where you want to save it to. And then you can also click options and select how you want to encode it. I'm just going to select DivX and then click OK and then click this green arrow to render the finished video project and then if you go to where you saved it to and play the video you can see the zooming effects now like I said this is just a very simple example of many of the things that you can do feel free to mess around with this this program because it's got a lot of possibilities that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.